You're home. Hello, Stuart. Does this mean you're healed from the explosion and everything? No, I'm fine. Um, I would feel better if these people would take me seriously. Oh, yeah, I know just how you feel. I, I'm looking for John. You know, the, your ex roomie from the hospital. It, it, have you seen him? No, yeah, he, he works here at Wildwind. He works here at Wildwind? He didn't suddenly go on vacation or anything? No, uh, not that we know of. Great. Well, quick, where can I find him? Uh, can I ask why? I've got to find Marion. And then, uh, so I, the only way I can find Marion is to find John. I'm going to track him down no matter where he is. Well, um, his room is in the servant's way. Yeah, it's just down the hall alone. Down the hall and hang a left. Yeah. Oh, help me out here, Stuart. What, what does Edmunds Gardner have to do with Marion Colby? Um, Marion wrote me a letter. She said that she and John were running away together to Bermuda. But I don't believe it. Bermuda? On a gardener's salary. Please. Well, we just saw him last night. Yeah, I mean, he didn't mention Bermuda. So you don't think he left this morning? No, I'm surprised to hear any of this. Yeah, it, it sounded nuts to me. It's hurricane season in Bermuda. Marion hates to get her hair wet. She did once, though. She, she looked so pretty. She, she had these little curls all around her face. And... Uh, down the hall and hang a left, did you say? Yeah, go for it. I will. I will. I'm, I'm going to find her if this is the last thing I do. One more turn. Come on. Come on, one more turn. Oh. oh, you certainly are heavy, Helga, darling. Okay, come on, let's see how good you are. I'm opening up a door, okay? I'm just gonna jam you in here. Okay, come on, come on, let's go. You are no damn good at all! Oh, please. I've got to get out of here. Oh, please. Mr. and Mrs. Santos, this just came for you. Who's it from? John, the new groundskeeper. Thank Why you. Why would he send this? In? Oh my God. We have to find Stuart. Excuse us. Anybody in there? <laughs> Did somebody call my name? Oh, dear God in heaven. Why have you done this to me? Put me in this horrible place waiting to be murdered. 
I know I haven't been the most virtuous woman alive. Okay, I, I know I've been quite dreadful at times, but to never see Stuart again, to never feel his touch or hear his voice, all the love and kindness and goodness just wrapped up in one incredible man. Oh, please, God, don't let it end like this. Please let Stuart find me. I thought I heard somebody calling my name. Um, <laughs> listen, Uncle Stewart, I'm, I'm afraid we have uh, some bad news for Not you. bad, bad. It's just something you need to know. What is it about Marion? Is, is she okay? It is about Marion. Uh, and, and I guess she must be okay. Oh, Stuart, please. Please find me. From Marion. No, it, actually, it's from John. We found it up at the house. Do, what, what, what does he say about Marion? Where is Marion? Well, uh, he says in this letter that he's quitting his job at Wild Wind and he's flying off to Bermuda with a female friend. Can I see that? But, but, but maybe the female friend isn't the female friend that you think it is. I'm quitting my job at Wild Wind. Sorry to let you down, but I have a hot date with a hot babe in Bermuda. Hot babe? Sounds like Marion. Voices? Is somebody out there? I'm sorry, Uncle Stewart. When I got Marion's letter, I just knew it was a lie. Yeah, I know it's tough, Stewart, but it's better that you know. Is there anything Oh, no, thank you. I, no, I, you shouldn't be worrying about this. We do worry about you, Uncle Stuart. We love you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't figure John would be that type of guy. Well, I can't blame him. Marion is so beautiful. And she's the queen, you know. And John's just another drone. Can we do anything? No, thanks. It's up to me now. I just have to fly to Bermuda. You're going to Bermuda? Well, I have to. Marion's there. But she's there with John. Yeah, I'll have to find them both. I think you better handle this. Okay. Um, listen, if, if, she, if she decided to go out with another guy, maybe it's better that you just leave this all alone. Why? Or what? All of this. Yeah, I, I mean... Why? Well, do you really think it's a good idea to go all the way down to Bermuda and then maybe walk in on John and Marion, you know, in their hotel room? Oh, I'm not gonna just walk in on them. I'll knock first. Of course you would. Of course you would. But if they went down there together, then they could, you know, get together. Oh, you think I might walk in on them while they're, they're being romantic? Yeah. You know, that's kind of what we were thinking. And you don't want to see that. Oh, you, you kids. You really worry about me. Uncle Stuart, we don't want to see you get your heart broken. And that's what you think is going to happen if I find out that, that, that Marion's in love with another man? Yeah. Uh, that's exactly it. No, it's not. That's not. It's not it. <laughs> you wouldn't be upset? No. No! Not at all! Stuart? Is that Stuart? Stuart? 
More than anything else in the world, I want Marion to be happy. And if this fella John makes her happy, then that's it. That's what? That's what I want. You want Marion to be with John? If, if that's what she wants. You're amazing, Stuart. But I don't think that's what she wants. Am I the only person who's confused? I don't think she really wants John. Not really. Not really. But she wrote it to you in a letter. Oh, yeah, well, that's what was on a piece of paper. But that's not what's in her heart. How do you know? Because of what she said to me when she kissed me in the gallery. Uncle Stewart, I know this must be hard for you to accept. No, I know, Marion. She would never have written those words to me. She just wouldn't have. Stuart, I know I hurt you. I, I know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I must be losing my mind. You know, I got to tell you, I think you're asking for big trouble here. Well, maybe. Maybe not. What if you're wrong? Well, if I'm wrong, then, then so what? I get to see Bermuda. <laughs> If you, if you see them together, that will hurt you. Well, yeah, if, if I do, if they're together, I will, maybe, but, but they won't be. I know Marion. She's only got eyes for me. Don't worry about me. I'm just like Adam. How are you like Adam? We're ornery. That's how. If, if, we, we, if we think something is right, then just don't, don't even try to stop us. They, they, they say that's why Adam is so successful in business, because he's just so stubborn about everything. And, and I'm just like him. I'm his, I'm his twin, aren't I? And if, if something is important to us, then you just better stay out of our way. And Mary Colby's love is one of the most important things in the world to me. You know... I used to think I was the big expert on love, but now I'm going to have to step aside. <laughs> well, I better have, have RJ crank up the old Chandler jet. Going now, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to settle this once and for all. And if, if Marion's sweet lips tell me that, that she's in love with another man, well, then, then it'll be settled. But until then, I'm going to be just as pig-headed as Adam. I know you want what's best for me. Absolutely. But I think I'm the one to know what that is. However it turns out, I'm going to find Marion. Good luck, Stuart. God bless. That is one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met. Next to you, of course. <laughs> With the heart the size of the world. At least. Just hope he doesn't get it shredded. Me too. Suckered Stewart just fine. He's off to Bermuda. Good. You won't be able to get him there. I won't need to. What does that mean? It means the things will all be taken care of by the time he gets back. What things? Oh, you don't worry your pretty little head about it, Joy. Everything's going to be just fine. But I've had worse. 
Nighty night. Please be safe. Please. I hope you're looking at the same stars I am, Marion. Wherever you are, I'll find you. I promise. Bye.